The Story of Otto Frank by Samara Holsey. Otto Frank, best known as Anne Frank's father, was born on May 12, 1889, and was born into the Jewish religion. He grew up with three siblings and his mother and father. Otto Frank finished high school and went to college for the summer, but moved to New York for an internship in 1909. When he barely arrived to New York, his father passed away and he had to go back to Germany. In 1911, Mr. Frank worked for a fabric company, but in 1914, when World War I was approaching, he ended up working with horseshoes for the German army. Later on, during the year, Otto Frank got conscripted into the army. When war ended, Otto Frank took over the family bank. Years later, in 1925, Mr. Frank had gotten married and had two kids. Life was going good, but in 1940, Holland was invaded and Jews were getting put into concentration camps. In 1942, the Frank family went into hiding. In 1944, the Frank family had been arrested and sent to concentration camps. In 1945, Otto Frank was free and found out that he was the only one alive. A couple years later, in 1947, Mr. Frank published Anne Frank's Diary. 1953, Otto Frank got remarried and passed away in 1980 from lung cancer. The injustice that Otto Frank endured while alive, including learning of his daughter's death, it took such a toll on him that he was unable to read Anne Frank's diary when, he first, when it was first given to him. But once he started to read, he couldn't believe that Anne had so much thoughts and feelings written in the journal. Every family member and friend of Mr. Frank believed that everyone should know about this because it was an important human document. Otto Frank made an impact on society by publishing the book. People would write letters and he would write back by ending it off by saying, I hope that Anne's book will impact the rest of your lives so that in so far as it possible in your own circumstances, you will work for unity and peace. Personally, I think Mr. Frank was successful in the sense that when I read the book, I felt lucky to have the life I do now, compared to the past lives back in the day where not everyone was accepted.